everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day this video is a little bit different to the kind of video i usually make although i did make a video about when the iphone something the first ever pink one came out and it's got over a million views um so i have made videos like this before but not for quite a long time basically if you're an iphone user you probably know that apple have just released the ios 14 update and along with that they brought out some really cool features that allow you to customize your home screen and your apps and how your phone looks in general and in my opinion just make it look a hundred times better it's almost completely customizable now um, and with the introduction of widgets you can have you can just make your home screen look, look different so if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm going to put my phone up here i'm going to screen record my phone so you can see everything i'm talking about and i'm going to explain to you exactly how you do it because when i was trying to find out i couldn't really find that much information out about it yet but i'm sure that there's going to be loads in the next few weeks and months um so anyway if you want to get ahead of the game and make your phone look aesthetic af <laughs> yep i actually just said that then keep watching oh and if you do enjoy this video i would really really appreciate a thumbs up and you can also click the button down there to subscribe for more videos so when i open my phone this is what my first screen looks like it did take a little bit of time once you get the hang of it it's really quick and easy it just becomes second nature it's very very simple to do but when you're first learning how to do it it kind of is a little bit like oh that's quite time consuming but really if you have an hour one evening to sit in front of the tv and just do it you can get it done in not very long at all it's just for some people they'd be like what is the point but for us creative types i know that you will be absolutely desperate to so i actually really enjoyed it and found it very calming and therapeutic this is what mine looks like i'm so pleased with it i'm such a geek but i think it looks so so cute now so obviously the first thing to do is of course download ios 14 you'll find it in your settings there'll be an update there with a little red circle with a one just need to update that it takes a little while but then you'll have access to be able to do this um, um as well as all the other updates and features they brought out with ios 14 the next thing you want to do is probably clear out some of your apps i actually haven't done this you'll see on my next page that it's still a big old mess um but i've concentrated on this page for now i'm going to show you how i'm going to do my next page as well um so the first thing you want to do is kind of decide on your look your theme your aesthetic Go and look at your Pinterest boards if you have any for inspiration or just find colours and a look that you like. Um, so I've got this background from Pinterest. It's basically, you can't see it very well, um, but it's just a close up of some pampas grass. I just love the soft colours and textures. Yes, I got very into this. Um, and from there, I kind of worked out the colours that I wanted. So like creams, whites, nudes, pale pinks, browns. You get the idea. The first thing you want to do, this is kind of going to be broken down into two parts. The first are the widgets, the bigger things, and then the second is how you change your icons. So first of all, you want to download an app called Widget Smith. I told you my other screens were not as pleasing to look at. So you're just going to go to your app store, download Widget Smith. Um, obviously, I've downloaded it already. And it will look something like this. As you can see, I already have some of my widgets in there so once you've downloaded it you'll have something that looks a little bit like this and you can get small medium and large widgets if we go into the small widgets for example you can see all of the different options that you can have so a lot of them are time date month you can do a custom one which means you can have a photo so could it, it could be a quote that matches in with your theme it could be a family photo whatever you want text a blank one um you can have upcoming events reminders weather and the list go, goes on. So I found this photo on Pinterest and I just screenshotted it. Then you just go to choose a photo, my little boys. Um, as you can see, I've been making loads of icons, which we'll get onto in a sec. Um, but I just scrolled to find that picture of that quote that says, do you? Um, and then I chose that and then that is, I saved it as that. Next, what you want to do is scroll to your left where you can see the kind of default widgets that iOS 14 has. Um, and you want to go to edit down the bottom and then you want to press the plus in the top left hand corner. And then you want to scroll down to the bottom and go to widget smith. And then you're just going to press down on it and it will bring it onto that widgets page. As you can see, this isn't the one I just did. It's a different one. So you just want to click on it, click widget and then you pick 
another one you can name them so it's easier to work out which one it is and then once you've found it you've got the one you want you can just drag it over to your main screen and then put it in there that's how you do a photo widget if you want to do one for example i've got the time i know the time is up there in the top left hand corner but this is about it making it look good not necessarily practical although i actually feel like having all of this here in front of me on that screen like the calendar for example is actually so much more practical it says no events because i've just blanked them out for now but you can have all of your events for the next day kind of written on your screen so or you can do a reminders list which I think is so much more helpful to see it as soon as you open your phone um, so let's make a medium widget now and I'll show you how I did that one so again we go to widget smith and we're going to make a medium widget so the one I've already made is medium number three I need to remember that um, so again, as you can see, you could have like a larger photo, custom text, you can have Outlook, um, reminders, there's so many things that you can have, it's really, really great. You can select your font, I really like the font New York, um, but there's lots of different options and I think they keep kind of updating it as well. Then the tint colour, um, I have been choosing white, which is basically the font colour, I don't know why it's called the tint colour. The background colour is cream. Um, and then if you continue to scroll down, it has border colours, which I have selected white. Um, so that gives you that look. Is that what we've got? So that gives you the look that we've got and you just save that. So again, just really quickly, we're going to go back over. We're going to go to edit plus in the top left. Scroll right down to widget smith. This time we want the medium widget. And then it's picked that one for me straight away. But obviously we can do the step I talked about before if it doesn't give you the one that you necessarily want straight away. And then obviously again, mine's already there, but you can just move them around as much as you want. So that's how you do your widgets. Hopefully that was quite a simple, straightforward explanation. But if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer as many as I can. Um, so now we want to go on to creating your custom icons. Now, I'd say this is the more fiddly and time consuming bit because you either want to create your own icons or find them. And it's just about making shortcuts. Um, but again, once you've done a couple, it's so quick. I'm, I'm doing it now without even thinking about it. Okay, so let's make a custom icon. So I have um, played around with a few different ways to do this. You can go onto Google and you can type in, for example, Twitter aesthetic logo, and then you can find some on there that people have created. Or what I've been doing and I've found has worked the best is to use the app Canva. I love Canva. I use it for so many things, including making my thumbnails for videos. Um, so it's really, really great. I have the premium version, but from what I've seen, a lot of the icons and images and illustrations I've used are actually available um, for free. They're not the premium ones. So I'm gonna go into Canva. Here you can see that I've made a TikTok logo. I'm so pleased with that. So first of all, let's make a really, really simple one for people that aren't too fussed about being artsy but want to give it a go. Um, so I'm just going to use one of the colours I have below here, which is like this really pretty nude pink. And then it's as simple as adding in um, an illustration. So I didn't realise, but pretty much all the main logos for social media, all the... Um, kind of iPhone apps like Messenger, phone, um, can't think of any off the top of my head now, but most of them, Safari, are on here as a logo. So all you need to type in is, for example, camera, if you want to replace your normal iPhone camera logo. So I'm just going to search that, and then we can already see quite a recognisable um, logo pops up don't know if it's exactly the same, but you would know that that was your camera. Um, and then I want to make that white. And then you can play around with the size. You can also do this when you're putting it into your phone, so it's not too much big deal, but that looks about right. And then you just want to press done and save it. Don't know why it changed the size of that then, but it doesn't matter. We can resize it in a sec. Um, okay, and then you want to go into something called shortcuts which was new to me so shortcuts looks like this and basically it's where you create all of your shortcuts for your apps 
Um, so I'm just going to make this as a brand new one. So you press the plus in the top right hand corner, you add an action and you want to type in open app, which looks like this with the different coloured dots there. So then you want to choose one of your apps. So we need to find camera and then you press the three little dots in the right hand corner. See, it seems like a little bit fiddly. There's quite a lot of steps, but it just becomes really quick. So again, your shortcut name is camera. And then to change the picture, because this is what confused me, because you press the icon expecting it to allow you to add your own picture and you just have different colors or glyphs, which are fine, but not custom. And um, what you want to do is press add to home screen. Then press new shortcut. And it says you can take a photo, choose a photo or a file. So obviously you're going to choose a file, a photo, sorry, and click on that one we just did. And now you can resize it. So I would say I want it about that size. Add it, done, 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 done. It, it, okay, it doesn't want to let me do that because I've already got a camera. So I'm just going to call it camera one. That's fine. Now we have camera one, which would obviously just say camera or whatever you want to call it. That's the beauty of it. You can just literally call it whatever you want. You can call it selfie if you want to, if you really want to. So that's how you make a shortcut and make your own custom icons. The only negative I've found so far of this is that it takes literally like half a second to get you into the app. So I'm just going to show you what it does. It shows you your, <laughs> look, at, look at that, that's my view right now cameras, tripods, whatever. Um, so it shows you the shortcuts for like half a second before it goes onto the app. It's just an automatic thing, it goes straight onto the app. But I can see how that would annoy some people, but I'm already like getting used to it. It really doesn't bother me that much. So my camera ran out of battery. Um, so whilst I was waiting for it to charge, I did the second page. Um, very simple. I'm just going to show you one more time how to do a shortcut for an icon and then I think you'll be good to go. I'm sure you've got the hang of it already but just in case. So I've done four um, icons for apps that I use quite often. Twitter, Maps, Facebook and Pinterest. Um, but I'm going to change the Facebook one because I've been enjoying having background like textured backgrounds as some of the backgrounds instead of just a solid color so I'm just going to go back into Canva so I'm just going to go to Instagram and then because just because it's a square and press blank then you can start going through your camera roll um, finding a background or just looking for a color because you can kind of um, use the dropper tool to pick a color from an image you use like this silky texture background and then once you've done that and you're happy with it, then you can just go to illustrations again, Facebook. And then I might just leave that white because that looks nice. And I'm just going to delete that widget so I can show you again. So we're just going to go to shortcuts. So you have all your shortcuts here. You press plus to add one, add an action. And then it's this one in the top left, but if in case it doesn't say that, you want to press open or type in open app. And then you choose your app. So we want Facebook. And then we just want to rename the shortcut again. Add to home screen. Sometimes you have to do this three times. I really don't know why. Just in case. Go there. Find Facebook. Choose it add done there you go it's right there so yeah that's fine as it is that actually looks really cute so that's it like i said once you get into it it's really really simple and with a few apps and a little bit of know-how you can make your phone really reflect your personality we use our phone so much now for so many different things so you may as well have it as you know more of an extension of you. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, I'd absolutely love it if you wanted to subscribe to my channel. The button's just down there. And if you like this kind of video, I can definitely make more. But if you kind of are into my aesthetic, I've said that so many times in this video, then you probably, hopefully would like my other content as well. So if you're new, I'd love for you to go and check it out. And I will see you again in another video very soon. Bye guys.